Hi, welcome back to Rick and Corbin's Black Void. Take a whiff. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid direct sub Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow us official Twitter account. Subscribe and hit that like button. Yeah. And today we're doing a movie review. Uh, we just came out of our second film of the day. We've been in the movie theaters all day long. It's true. Our families hate us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, we just came out of the movie Donkey, our second film of the day. We obviously we saw Salar first, uh, the Telugu film, uh, and uh, the new 2023 SRK Rajkumar Harani uh, venture, obviously the highly anticipated film. Very much SRK's so. SRK's third film of the year. Yep. Uh, and also starring, obviously, Pepsi Panu, yep. uh, Bowman Harani, uh, Vicky's in there. Um, I think that's basically the, the known names there. Um, but obviously this just came out, so we are going to do a non-spoiler. And then if we want to get to some spoils, we will tell you before we get to those spoils, you little naughty little babies. Rick, your initial thoughts of Donkey. Bottom line is, see it or skip it. For me, it's a skip it. Mm. Uh, it's, you know, you, 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 you can't... I, always want the movies to do well, but this one misses on a whole bunch of levels for me. We'll talk about it in a minute, but yeah, this one this one did not come anywhere close to meeting the expectations I had for it. Yeah, I'm disappointed as well. Um, it's not like, it's not like KGF 2. It's not, that that was a colossal disaster, which is funny because we just came out of Salar, which we loved, which is by the exact yeah. same director as yeah. KGF 2. Uh, it's not on that epic scale, but it is a disappointment. Absolutely. Um, and if you would have asked me which one, I was like, which one do you think is going I, to be good? And I would have told you, I'm hoping they're both going to be good. Right. But I'm pretty sure Donkey is going to be a odds. good time. Yeah, the betting odds for us going in, just on past experiences, would have been with, with that, that expectation. And it was completely flipped. It, it was flipped. the opposite, yeah. uh, which is, uh, uh, not, I don't want to say fun, yeah. but uh, different. Um, yeah, so... Uh, the. <sighs> It was a, and yeah, there's, there's a lot to unpack because obviously there is. we we just came. Um, it was. I feel like there was just too much. It's kind of a, it's kind of a hot mess with the messaging. Yeah, and also just maybe he needs to go back to simpler stories, like the simple story of Munabai. It's a, I mean. The complex issue is that they think they have a hospital, right? I mean, that's the complexity. Of it. But then it's simple humans, it, you know, at, at that relation. PK, same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, with complex topics. Right. But simple story. Right. And Three Idiots, similar thing. Yeah. Complex topic, simple-ish story. And then he starts getting into, like, Sanju. And then I'm like, okay. I, it was, Sanju was fine. Mm -hmm. It was not our favorite. Right. But... And then now this is just like, I feel like you're trying to go so big when what people love you for is your small, intimate, like, I, I think the biggest issue is the, the, the screenplay. I, I didn't care about anybody. No. I mean, Vicky, Vicky was probably the main one that I cared about, but he's a small supporting role in this as well. I thought he did a phenomenal job in his small role, but he was probably the extent of like, I care for this character. Other than that, I'm like, and it's not, I don't really think the actors fault either. It's just the story and the way they set it up. I was like, I don't, this is like a awful situation that these people are supposed to be going through, but I'm not caring. And it wasn't as awful as a lot of people who have to go through the kinds yeah, of experiences. But that's what that, they're, they're trying to get yeah. you to like, this is, they're going through an awful situation. Right. It, it just, it just didn't, it didn't register. And, yeah. and the other thing for me, and I, I will, I will, play this one note <laughs> banjo forever mm. I really would love I'm gonna keep wishing for the day that I get to watch Shah Rukh Khan bite into something as hefty as my name is Khan again um, he has what those in the acting world and who train actors and have been trained he has, an, he has a really good tool belt that he uses all the time and people who aren't trained in acting wouldn't notice it because his tool belt's that good. But 
Yeah, he has a good toolbox. He knows what we're talking about in that regard. Uh, and and it, it's disappointing to watch an actor refer, just use what works rather than work on the incarnation of a character that is real flesh and blood. And that, that was disappointing for me as well. The biggest disappointment for me was the story. Yeah. I, I just, the story's all over the place. It has some messaging that's kind of infuriating. Mm. Uh, and and uh, uh, it just, it just, it just didn't work. And, and the comedy sections of it didn't work. It, there was no laughter. There was maybe, we had half a house. I think I could count on one hand the number of times I heard some chuckles. Well, no, I, I did hear people laugh more than we did. There's a lady to the right of me that was... Well, she, she, was, she was on cocaine. She was on cocaine. Yeah. Um, and so I think some of the humor in this one... Uh, and there wasn't like an insane amount of laughter, but there was more... People did laugh more than we laughed in certain circumstances. So I think a lot of it was either cultural or um, dialogue. That, that translation was just bad. A lot of the, a lot of the humor for me was kind of like... Three Stooges humor without the hilarity. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that that was one of my concerns. It was like, does Rashomar Rani's humor work now? Right? Because obviously a lot of times with old comedies, you're like, okay, that's a dated joke. We don't make those oh, jokes anymore. there's any- one joke in this yeah. that's just straight up insulting. Yeah, there's... Uh, really bad. There's, there's really <laughs> bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's... Uh, people are up in arms. Uh, obviously, we have our own opinions of animal, but people are up in arms because of misogyny. And we, we've talked about, like, that wasn't right. the issue for that film with us. You know, we're fine with misogynistic characters, if that's the character. Yeah. <laughs> Some of these jokes are way more insulting. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> Than any than any really? joke I heard in well and some of the messaging I mean, it, we'll get into in spoilers some of the messaging about immigration which that's not a hit you know that's not a spoiler you know the film has to do with that there's some messaging in there about immigration that's just that's just very problematic for me uh, uh, by reason of just it's a really important issue anywhere in the world it's a really important issue here in America it's a really important issue for me who I am married to an immigrant. And the process we have had to go through and the process I know others have gone through. We'll talk about that in the spoiler section. Yeah. But ultimately, this is one of those, no, if you're going to go to a movie this weekend, I wish I could recommend both. Because you never want a movie to not do well. I care about the people who make this film. We, we love the folks in the cast. Um, we don't ever want to wish a filmmaker to not do well. But at the end of the day, I care more about, as do yeah. you, we care more about the art form and cinema and... Uh, this is just not one that I, I unfortunately recommend. Yeah, I, I, I just don't know if Rajkumar Harani is the right person to make this film, you know? Like, um... It'd be interesting to see. Because I would love to know a story about the actual donkey, like... Uh, I'd like to see a real, a, like, a real depiction of an actual story. Yeah, because obviously, people that immigrate to whatever country for whatever reason, there's a lot of reasons. You're right. Um, and obviously, immigration is a, a really complex subject. Um, but it's, it's like, you know, it's almost like his style of filmmaking is almost making light of it at some point. And, yeah, it doesn't and, work in the way it, we've, we've said this because we've recently seen what Nelson can do with a very serious subject matter yeah. and actually make it work. I don't even know that Nelson, I don't know that anybody should try to take this subject matter and weave it through in the context of this kind of attempt at a comedy and then try some of the other things with the dramatic that just don't they just don't work dramaturgically and that means that it, it there's just no justification for some of the things that happen on the dramatic side other than we're going to do this for dramatic effect and that's never a good way to, to, to tell a story and I feel like there wasn't even on that if he even if he did obviously he made this film I feel like there wasn't any Rashkumar Maharani magic no I agree like, and I missed it like it made he, me sad PK, three idiots, Munabai. Yeah. Even there was some magic in, in, in Sanju. Like, he has this element that was like, oh, this is just, I feel, I feel magic. good. Correct. And I never got there Me with too. this. And Me it was, too. And I wanted to. I'm, I'm looking for it. It's like, you're not expecting him to feed you the gold. I'm looking all over for it. And it just, yeah. it's just not there. Yeah. It's, um, it's sad. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, we got one really good film. If you, if you haven't seen our Solar Review, please go watch please our go, Solar Review. Please, please go watch that movie yeah. if you like uh, big 
uh, action with really good story, actually. Um, uh, go, go see that film. But yeah, that, uh, so that'll be the end of our non-spoilers. Uh, we're going to get to some spoils now um, and talk about uh, certain things. Yep. Um, this so is if, if you've seen it or you're just, you've decided you're never, never going to see it. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to see it, don't watch this till you've seen it. Yes. <laughs> um, so uh, go watch it, come back, and then uh, now we're going to start spoilers. So what were you going to say in the non-spoilers? We're in Africa now. Oh, yeah. That Good was. Good grief. There was actually a few of those. Yeah, there were. Yeah, there was. That one was just, I sank down in my seat. That's like, what. Oh, my goodness. That was, no. that was one of those that I was like. Cause, <laughs> like, if you put that in, like, Munabai back in the day, I'm like, okay. Yeah. It's a dated joke. Right. I get it. Not today. <laughs> like, the year of our Lord, 2023, Shah Rukh Khan. Um, that's a strange one to make. And then, like, the, the there was fat jokes. And then there was, like. Um, maybe, maybe he was thinking, okay, we're depicting this back in that time. Uh, it didn't work. Yeah, the, that's just a strange one to put in there. Yeah, uh, it really was. Um, also, also to, to to put at the end, after all of all of this, the 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 notes and the statistics, some of them yeah, from yeah, the yeah. U.S. Census Bureau about immigration. No, I'm very very sorry. There's a there's a fact that was put up there that didn't have anything on there. It was just a statement, and one of the statements was that the only people who have problems with immigration are the poor. That is not true. At all. And that, that that there are so many things in this that did a disservice. One of the things that was really hard for me to wrap my head around was how a man like Shah Rukh Khan's character could have such a moral compass that he refuses to lie in front of the magistrate to say he doesn't need asylum, but he has no problem trafficking illegal immigrants. Uh, the, the rationale behind that just was really weird for me to try to wrap my head around and and the, the the concept of illegal immigration it's almost as if the film is saying D- you know it's hard but do it because the system sucks so do if you need to get somewhere find a way to do it illegally if you need to and and no because what that happens is take it from somebody who's going through the process with my wife now for the better part of four freaking years the people who go about it illegally screw it up for those of us who are going about it legally. I, I personally know of people who have done it illegally, and it's it it really boggles my mind that people would marry for money and do other th- various things. And and there are parts of this that I could see people seeing. Oh, well, there, the takeaway from this is uh, if the system's not right, rather than try to fix the system, which is complex, like you said, yeah. eh, just do it illegally. Um, in certain instances, like if you're actually in danger, that's what refugees and asylum yeah, are for, though. Like here in America, we have a lot of people that want to get here from Mexico and from South America who come through Mexico, who they're dealing with cartels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're dealing with horrific, and I know this experientially with people that I personally know, as well as documentaries and things that I've seen living here in America and in LA. You live this. Yeah, yeah. You're surrounded by illegal immigrants. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, it, there are a lot of really bad players who take advantage of the system, and they always will. Yeah. They always will. I think the, the point about the, the poor is, is not so much about it was just poor, is that it, it's more of that it only helps rich. Um, in terms of like them, I don't, I don't know the European one about if you donate a, a million dollars or whatever, well, or whatever it was. Obviously, the system everywhere is set up for rich. It is. I think that that is what they were trying to say. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, um, and it and, and it does. I mean, I've tr- there are there's a reason why. And Shah Rukh Khan said this in the interview. He said there, that they did the round table kind of thing he did with Topsy yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and there are people that. You know, they may not have a visa right now, but I promise you, if Tom Cruise wants them in a film here in America, they're going to get their visa really damn fast. Yep. Yeah. Money. Yeah, and, and that is not fair. Yeah. Uh, and so obviously that. So like, and that's why I don't know. I was like, I don't know if Rajkumar Rani's and his style of filmmaking, if he wants to stick to his style, and they were going for a family, his normal style kind of film. Right. Um. But it also never got to his normal style, I feel like. No, it didn't. And his other films don't include things that just, for me, were like, really? She's going to be dead in a month and she's okay to just go take the donkey trail? And then when when she, she, you know, she does uh, that that last moment, there wasn't anything. Everything was really predictable in a bad way. I knew she was going to die. And when he turned around, I thought, okay, really, she's just, she's showing no signs 
I mean, she's on an IV in the hospital where she's going to be dead in a month, but now she can go and do all these other things. She can pretend wrestle. She's showing no signs of impending death. And then she's just sitting there talking with him and it, those kinds of things just were like, she died in love. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it's very problematic. My the standout, if I, if I, Vicky obviously is a, is a standout for him, but he's always, he's amazing. He's an amazing actor. I'm very sad we didn't get to see Sam, that, that Sam film, by the way. Um, I know. Um, because he's, he's, he's really a very good actor. That. Uh, the songs, I mean, we heard a couple of them were, were nice. Like the, the one, there's one hook that I, that I do really enjoy. The, is it their love? Their love song. Yeah. yeah. I like that one a lot. I do too. And then, it's, it's the, very, uh, very nice. um, so, but like, it's a one-time watch at minimum, you know, uh, yeah, or at most. Uh, yeah, I would not. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Yeah, it definitely. If this weekend, there's one I would definitely recommend. Hundred <laughs> oh, yeah. percent. Um, I'd go see it again. Yeah, uh, exactly. Um, but anyways, obviously we're still here. Obviously, I hope you seen it obviously or we spoiled everything for you uh not everything but <laughs> um let us know what you thought about the film if you liked the film if you didn't like the film why we're idiots yeah why you liked our opinions why you why hated you hate us. us why we're the white devils of youtube yeah uh, i'm gonna change our, our intro to <laughs> <laughs> the white devils of youtube and we're not the I, I, so so we're not the you guys don't like bollywood films you're not the bollywood bootlickers you just like south indian movies you are the telugu taint lickers it is. that is <laughs> just the criteria for us as you know i don't even like anything in Hollywood anymore because it's not made by a South Indian. <laughs> Idiots. Anytime we don't like a Bollywood film, we're like, you only like the Hollywood. Like anytime we like, we like a Bollywood. Yeah, yeah, Bollywood yeah, Bollywood Bollywood <laughs> yeah, you can't win them all. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film down below.